everybody, welcome back to our channel, Good Honest Living. I'm Nicola. Today I have Ella with me and Princess. We're gonna do a little video for you guys and it's five reasons why we love English Springer Spaniels. Their size. They're a medium-sized dog. They're not too big, they're not too small. They fall right in that in-between category. For us, this was a huge thing because I grew up with Chihuahuas. I wanted something smaller. Jamie had a Dalmatian, of course, he wanted something bigger, especially something that's a decent size that he could give a good pat to. He didn't want a small dog, he can't really give them a good pat. <laughs> so he always wanted a dog that was big enough that you could do that, but one that would still be up on your lap if you wanted it up there and to snuggle with. So for us, we found medium sized breeds and then led us to the English Springer Spaniel. Number four, their image. They just look beautiful. They really do. They have beautiful looking faces. Their ears sit so majestic. And I just really love their hair type. They have that really nice, soft, long hair, which I personally really love. I had long hair chihuahuas and I just loved the feeling of the hair. I didn't want a dog that had coarse, short, coarse hair, and I didn't want anything that was kind of really tight curls, um, like a poodle or a bichon frise. I really prefer this type of hair personally. So that was something that I was really attracted to with them. I loved that it was really soft hair. I loved the look of the, the feathering in the back of the legs. I really love the color variations that you can get with Springers. You can get black, you can get liver, tan markings, and you can also get roan. Ella here is a unique color and she's actually what's called a red sable roan. So she has red and then the darker um, black almost is the sable and then all through her paws is the roan. So with her, she doesn't have any weight that's not filled with roan. She's very unique and this is actually the first first um, variation of this coloring that we have ever had in our breeding lineup. So I just like that you can get a range and a good variety of different colors and markings with the breed as well. It just really um, enhances their image and their beauty that they have already. Number three. They are super smart. I love how smart they are. They're so clever. Because they're so smart, this makes them extremely easy to train. When you put in the work, you get a lot of results very quickly. It doesn't take long for obedience training. It doesn't take long for house training um, when you put in the work and the effort. They are just super smart. They catch on very quickly to what you want them to do, and then they do it. So Remington, when he was a puppy, we had got training bells that you can put on the door. I bought them on the Monday, by the Friday he was ringing the bells to go outside. So that's just one example of how quick and how fast they can learn. It doesn't take them long. Number two, they make great family pets. They are so good with people. They love people. When we have visitors, they just want to be with the people. They just want to be with the visitors. Um, they just want to love on them and go and have them <laughs> pet them all day long. They really do. They just love people. They're super outgoing, very confident uh, when they're with other people, when they're with people. They just do really well with people. For me, this was a huge factor when it came to picking a dog. Jamie and I had been married for two and a half years. We had just bought our first house. Lucas was 18 months and I was pregnant with Callie. So maybe some people think we're crazy for picking out a dog at that point, but <laughs> We wanted our first dog. We just got our new house, so we felt it was just fitting for us to have a dog. I really wanted a dog that was going to be really good with my kids. My kids would grow up with and they would know this dog is safe to be around. This dog is not going to be temperamental. Having chihuahuas, that was one thing that was difficult for us. We had one chihuahua in particular that was very temperamental. She would bite, she could be aggressive, she could make you bleed. As a child, it, it was hard to enjoy the pet that you were almost afraid of and that you couldn't handle and play with and enjoy. So as a mother, I wanted a dog that I could trust around my kids. I wanted to know that, you know, I can leave the room and I don't have to worry about the dog doing anything to my kids. One day we walked in and Lucas and Callie were sitting on Mindy's back. They were poking her eyes, pulling her ears, and of course they were just young so they didn't know any better. We never encouraged that kind of behavior. But it was just for me, it was a nice reassurance that, that the dog wasn't going to be bothered. Mindy just laid there, she's looking at us as if please. But at the same time, she was enjoying being with them. She just loved them and she just wanted to be with them. So for me, it was a huge reassurance knowing that this dog is great with my kids. So I actually remember turning to James and saying, that's a good dog. That's a really good dog. 
They're also very good with other family pets if raised young with them. So you teach them young that the other pets are part of the family. And last but not least, number one, I love that they're affectionate. It's, I just love how loving and how loyal these dogs are. They really are. It's, it's a shame because Springers do get a bad rep for being hyper and being high strung, but they really are really down to earth, calm, loving dogs. They love people. They just are super affectionate and they thrive off of that. That's what makes them really good dogs. And I love that I can have ones I can snuggle, that they'll be with me and they want to, they want to spend time with me and they actually enjoy my company. Um, I just absolutely love the affection that they show. They're very loving and loyal dogs. So that's it, our five reasons why we love the English Springer Spaniel. We hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you have an English Springer Spaniel and there's something that you really love that I haven't talked about, please write it in the comments. Or if there's something that I said that you agree with and you want to comment anything, feel free. We'd love to hear from you. So like we always say, if you enjoy this video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe. You can hit the alarm bell and notify you when we upload new videos like this one. So we hope that you really enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. So tasty? Yeah. Okay, we gotta redo this video. Hey, Bella, come here. It was our first dog. We had been married for two years. Oh my gosh, I gotta start that again. Ella, you stink, you farted. <laughs> that stink. Oh, that's really bad.